Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 The Arcade Game is a port from the arcade game to the Nintendo Entertainment System by Ultra in 1989. It's a side-scrolling beat-em-up where two players can control a hero in a half-shell of their choosing to stop the Shredder. Each character has health displayed as small vertical bars. When the turtle sustains damage, their health will decrease. When all the health bars are empty, the turtle will suffer a shell shock and cost the player a life. Once all lives are used up, it is game over for that player. Unless you steal a life from your loving friend. Once both turtles die, it is game over. You are able to continue from the beginning of the stage you died, but you are only able to continue twice. Getting 200 points or kills will net you an extra life. Can Liquid Divide and RPG Master rescue April O'Neil and New York from the Shredder's evil plot? Or will they only succeed in providing him with turtle soup? Find out on Let's Fail Together, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade game. Jump right into it, shall we? Sure. Let's, let's, let's see, is that. it the select button? I believe so. Two turtles. I'm not sure why you're player one. I don't know either. Am I player, I'm player one? Two. I am, you are. but I'm totally taking Michelangelo. That's fine, because I always take Raphael. So. Why are we taking both the short-range guys? Because there's no difference Fire. in this game. <laughs> Hang on, April! This isn't the other Turtles game I failed. <laughs> this one, it really doesn't matter which turtle you pick. They're all exactly the same anyway. I think the arcade version, though, had like some sound effects there. Like for the... Let's see. Man, it has been a minute. I know there's like a... Like, jump right after you, or rather, attack right after you jump. You mean this thing that I've been doing the whole video? Yes, that! <laughs> Is it just, you just hit it immediately? Yeah, because, yeah, like, one shots them. I remember yeah. that much. That's very key to doing well in this game. Take note of my 12 kills to your 1 so far. That's how critical it is. <laughs> well, I'm like trying to... Man, it's been a minute. A minute? You know what? You I'm going to play this the old-fashioned way. You can do your lame little <laughs> thing that people discovered. I'm going to beat the snot out of dudes. And... Lame little thing people discovered. It's, I don't think I've ever intentionally thrown a normal attack in this game. <laughs> oh, jeez. I remember that ball right there just uh, murdered yeah. me as a kid. Yeah, that part was tricky. It was more this part because you have to fight and it's right yeah, in the middle of the screen. Yeah, fight in the midst of it, yep. Yeah, that was rough. I always thought it was fun, though, to like look at the art. We got a Pizza Hut sign in a random apartment building for no yeah, reason. Yeah. And then a picture of mountains. And the walls are like falling apart. <laughs> <laughs> also, everywhere in this building is on fire except for this hallway. I love it. <laughs> Alright, I'm getting it down. They have the greatest escape plan ever. I'm getting down this here little one-shot kill. Because <laughs> we're like, <laughs> race for the kills. Air. It's a race. <laughs> this game always turned into a race for the kills. For yeah, me. I always, it always threw me off that you can't get hurt by that fire. I always expected the fire to be bad. No. Like, I gotta stay out of the fire. That's no. what I thought as a kid. That never bothered me. Yeah? I was just intelligent, I guess. I realized perspective... I wasn't actually in the fire. Wait <laughs> until you get into April's apartment and you tell me perspective. <laughs> you tell me that you're not standing in that fire. Well, that's that's different fire. This is obviously this fire. Well, you know, <laughs> half his body, you and your need to argue. I'm sorry. I, yeah. It's all good. <laughs> I'm sure you're great at debate. I wish. For I no better. reason. I had no partner. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody else wanted to be my partner. I don't understand why. Oh, I, I don't get that at all. I'm like, hey, do you want to do debate together? Like, uh, why should no, I pick no, you as a that's partner? A terrible idea. <laughs> okay, fine. Wait, we should be partners. <laughs> wait, wait. Yeah, yeah. Love this game. It's Anyone curious why I wanted to play this game is because apparently the uh, latest Ninja Turtle game, which was made by Platinum. It was a fail before it even hit the shelves just because it didn't have local co-op, which is how I was enjoyed the Turtle games back in the day, and apparently it didn't do well even as a single player, which is too bad. It's oh, these aren't, two, how, these like, aren't one-shots. No, these guys are like a mini-boss. They're man. awful. Oh. It kind of confuses me <laughs> now how <laughs> even local multiplayer can be like a death sentence. <laughs> Not just the online, lacking online multiplayer. Yeah. Even the local stuff can just sink you. I got this. Anyway. See, it's the same perspective. I don't know what you're talking uh, about. You're right. You're I just... mean, it, eh. Perspective. <laughs> I'll show you perspective. Did you think April was hot when you were a kid? I. Uh, who didn't? I, I never really thought she was that hot. Huh. 
Were you more of like a Master Splinter kind of guy? <laughs> I don't know. I just, I don't know. She seemed like she was kind of silly. She just always got into trouble. Heck yes! <laughs> a babe Ow. worth saving! Michelangelo saw that. Why couldn't you? Michelangelo is my favorite turtle either. I like Raphael. Raphael <laughs> just always had like a sigh up his rectum. Well, yeah. He was always sour in the like somewhat awesome, somewhat haggard B movies Dude, that they made. Like he was always in the just B so movies, sure, but he in was the cartoon, so sour. In the cartoon, he was actually the real jokester. You don't remember that? Like yeah. Michelangelo was kind of a jokester, but Raphael had all the really. Good and parts. Michelangelo in the cartoons was a total moron. <laughs> exactly. Raphael was the smart joker. Yeah, that's true. So you know that's why I Jeez. respected him. He's got my number. And then I always so try to call attack me Shredder. Maybe. I always tried to attack Shredder right there. Yeah, it never lets never you. Never worked. And that was always a really cool picture. I liked that. And this this is actually probably my favorite level in this game. This level's awesome. I just really like all the environmental effects. I love that the went music. Into this. I love yeah. I love exactly all the stuff going on with the signs and stuff like that later on. It's yeah, great. This one was fun. This game, oh boy. I used to like beat I'm this. I'm not gonna once lie. I've kid. only <laughs> actually, in retrospective, I never did beat it. You never did. I never did. Oh, well, today could be. I'm a guessing lucky the end day. boss is Shredder. Uh, yes. Maybe. Maybe. Yes. yes. No. Maybe. Well, I've had to think for a second. It, it may be Krang. I'm pretty sure it's Shredder. Yeah. Yeah, it's Shredder. It's Shredder. I definitely remember the snow level, which I feel like wasn't even in the arcade version. It was not. Yeah, that's what I thought. Because I remember playing this in the arcade and being very disappointed. But the arcade one instead had, like, the Rat King level where you, know, you fought him on the surfboard things in the sewers. Are you sure you're not thinking of Turtles in Time? Fairly certain. Maybe not. That is in Turtles in Time also. But yeah, I'm pretty in Turtles sure... in Time, you don't get to fight the Rat King in the arcade, but you get to fight him on the Super Nintendo. Oh, maybe it's that way. Yeah. I can't remember. Turtle games have had, like, the weirdest releases. They... <laughs> Turtles in Time on the arcade versus the Super Nintendo versus the Sega. Well, Sega didn't even get Turtles in Time. They instead got this thing called like Hyperstone something oh, or another oh. that took all of the assets, bosses, graphics, sound effects, everything wow. from Turtles in Time and just re-jumbled it and called it something else. Alright, do you know about the secret that, that we're about to run into? Uh, nope. Oh, I'll have to show you. It's pretty fun. Yeah? Sweet! So, so right here, okay. oh, I've got to explain okay. it first. There's a girl on a skateboard. Okay. She's worth a point if you attack her. <laughs> <laughs> and she ducks. <laughs> That's awful. <laughs> I mean, I, I remember the girl, but you actually looked up and saw that she counted as a kill? Yes, I, that counts as a point. Oh, wowie. <laughs> and I've broken 100, just, just so you know. I hate you. <laughs> Less on certain days of the week. <laughs> well, this could be your chance to beat this game. Have hey. you ever had such a competent partner? Never had such a competent partner. Uh, I said, have you? Have you? It was a question. Oh, I, that's Not hard to say. <laughs> <laughs> My siblings were significantly younger. Um, I had a sister. This who... particular game, I think, was one one of the few games that my dad actually played with me back in the day. He's not much of a gamer. And uh, so, yeah. I'm gonna throw it out there that you might be better at games than the old man. Probably. Yeah. That doesn't surprise me. Let him fix houses and things and we'll play our video games and do <laughs> nerdy right? computer programming stuff. I am an old man now, technically. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I wouldn't be surprised by, you know, a lot of our viewers or other YouTubers on the internet. I guess we are a little bit older of a Let's Players. No worries. Ow. 80s are beautiful. I love all these old retro games. They're, they're so fun. good. Not that like today's game. I mean, today's games clearly are better. But the, uh, there's something that's lost. Uh, objectively speaking, but there's some fun that you just can't, you know. Well, I mean, this. Look at like Castle Crashers versus this. The Castle Crashers is about the same fun level. Mm, depends on the day, because. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I've got a nostalgia center that... Well, just, there is, but, I mean, yeah. nostalgia... So, the, the kids that have played... There's kids who Castle Crashers is their Ninja Turtles. Yeah, that's true. So, for them... And you I mean, know what? It's the same thing, right? For those kids, Castle Crash. I mean, I loved Castle Crashers. Yeah, Did you get to play game. much of it? Uh, yeah. I had a roommate who had it, and nice. we played a lot. Good. 
<laughs> oh, jeez. Not like as much as you, probably. I didn't own it myself. Oh, gosh. I like maxed out every character. Yeah, I, I figured as much. My favorite was, um... It was like this engineer-esque mechanic? Mechanist, dude? Oh, yeah, geez. it's been a long time. That actually wouldn't be the worst thing to play. <laughs> Castle Crasher seat, and oh, it's very no. similar to this, honestly. I mean, it's just another beat em up type game. But it's Ninja Turtles with know, like half saying. disappearing Bebop. Okay, we're gonna have to restart this level if you don't kill him. Just so really? You yep. Uh, that's not encouraging. Ouch. He is rough. I tried, and uh. <laughs> yeah, he is. This is not going well. Okay, remember how I said we were gonna beat this game? Or we're not gonna beat this game. <laughs> not at this rate. That was pretty pretty poor. That was uh, that's unfortunate. We got three continues. We share continues. Yes, we share continues. And you are player one, so I can't I'm do anything about it. Player one. And we start. Yep, all the way over. Beautiful. It's kind of like Battle Toads, except you know your partner has a chance to at least advance you to the next level before. Nice. You get reset. Well, and you know <laughs> the score keeps going. Yeah, the score does. Do you earn lives? Uh, I believe I, th I think every two hundred points is an extra yeah. life, if I remember correctly. And I think I usually played with less competent or you know partners, so I usually had an extra life by the time I got to Bebop. Usually. Oh, okay, <laughs> I'm fairly certain. Because the only person I had to play games with for the most part was my sister, who played this because it was Ninja Turtles. Yeah, yeah. Other April than that, she, she wasn't much of a game person. Now she liked Michelangelo, so this is actually, you know, exactly how I grew up playing this game. <laughs> <laughs> Glad I could take you down memory lane, buddy. <laughs> Other than my stuff's usually on the left side of the screen. That's very disorienting right now. But <laughs> I'll take it. It's too much. No, I definitely uh, played way more Turtles in Time than this one. Turtles in Time I played front to back dozens of times. This one, like I said, I never even finished it back in the day. I'll I see. think you played way more NES, and I might have played more Super Nintendo, just throwing out a guess there. Oh yeah, it's true. I didn't even have a Super Nintendo until after PlayStation and Nintendo oh, 64 geez, came out. Oh jeez, there you go. That's when I got a Super Nintendo, when they were like 50 bucks or something. Nice. Go ahead and grab that pizza, because you're the weak one. Are you squeaking? Squeaking? With like mice running around underneath you or something over there? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> My nervous twitch, you mock. I have one too, but I don't. Oh, well, to be fair, it is my chair, I guess you're saying. So. Yeah, there it's you go. It's just an extra squeaky chair. At work, I had a really squeaky chair, and they bought me a new one. <laughs> they eventually. They bought you a new one. Uh, my coworkers like, we bought can't me a new chair. can't handle this anymore. That's because awesome. Because of my nervous twitch. Yeah, it was. Oh, that's great. And, and it took me a long time to get to that, qu that chair. I think I had that chair for, well, other chairs that were worse for like two years before I got the squeaky chair. That's beautiful. And then I finally got a new chair just because that one was so annoying to everybody else. Ah, so nice. So nice. Now I have a nice, comfortable chair, lumbar support, and all that. That's beautiful. That would uh, that'd be good for a desk job. Yeah, it, it's it's much much more comfortable. Man, my hands are cramping. <laughs> We're definitely not beating this game if your hands are cramping already. How many levels are there? I mean, there's this one. Uh, there's the snow. I believe there's, there's eight or nine. Okay. But they take significantly longer than Contra levels, so. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Contra also has eight. You know what other turtle game I never beat was the uh, third Turtles game. Oh, I beat that one. I played it a couple times as a kid and I loved it because didn't it have like an extra attack mechanic? Like it, you had like a special attack or something? It did. It basically copied the special attacks from the actual arcade game of this one. Yeah. So Raphael did his weird spinny thing and yeah, it was cool. But it also used your health to do that. So yep. you like didn't did use it the whole game back in the day until you got down to your last bar of health. Then you know. Was Bebop infinite? was totally screwed. Well, it took, it didn't kill you to use it, but it took a health away. So once you got to your last bar, what? There was no negative. Oh, that's the worst. <laughs> I hate getting uppercut into the sewer. Right? Oh my god! Oh, maximum effort there on Bebop. <laughs> wow, he is. He's really making this a let's fail. I gotta line up the perspective. He's trying hard to make this a let's fail. Really hard. Yeah. Oh, Toidles. Oh, you know, I remember how I used to fight this guy. Yeah? Well, I do, but it doesn't work when he does that. Or that. Oh boy. But, you know, the good thing is we still have, like, two more lives to fight him. 
Yeah, I mean, we definitely have him, but we're not gonna go strong into level number three. <laughs> no. Level three, though, the, the boss is Baxter, that fly thing, so... Oh. It's not a big deal. Yeah, that's not big at all. He's like the laughing stock of the bosses. <laughs> he is just a sad character. Oh boy, I hope the comic books do him more justice, because I just... I don't know. Watching the cartoon back and then I'm like, man, this guy, I almost feel sorry for him, he's so lame. He's this poor scientist that's like over the top nerdy, not in a cool way, and he turns into a fly. Wow. Okay, this guy, he's like, are we just not attacking fast enough? Because he seems way too tanky well, be today. Before, I was actually doing like the really good attacks, now I'm trying yeah. to do it the way without getting Does hit. Does this one with only person. do one damage versus the cool one? Yes, but, okay. but this one's the safe way, however, we're both doing it. And so like, one of us is hitting and then he's getting a free attack on the other one. And yeah, it's, it's not going good. well that way. Let's see if I can save. You know what? I'm, you know gonna, what? I'm gonna see. I was gonna say, let me see if I can salvage there. this one, this one life here. Not to Cow mention.